Welcome to your Tutor Online video lessons. My name is Joel. Today I'm going to teach you how to go from a fraction to a decimal. Um, the first thing you need to know about um, converting fractions to decimals is that in order for that to happen, and it's easier to talk about if we start with um, an example, 3 over 8, or 3 eighths. We can only convert a fraction to a decimal if the numerator, and that means the top number here is 3, and the denominator, and that means the bottom number, are both integers. Uh, integers are your counting, counting numbers. Uh, for example, if you had um, pi over the square root of 3, you cannot convert that into a decimal because uh, we have two irrational numbers uh, in the top and the bottom. It's just not going to work. Uh, but other fractions with integers in the top and the bottom can be converted into an example. So let's go on back and look at our um, example I have set up here is 3 eighths. Um, the easy way to go from a fraction to a decimal is just to treat it as a division problem. 3 divided by 8. So all we need to do is put that 3 inside the long division box and that 8 on the outside, 3 divided by 8. 8. 8 will not go into 3 um, right off the bat, so we'll add a decimal and add a 0. 8 will go into 30 th um, <coughs> 3 times. 3 times 8 is 24. And we go ahead and subtract. We end up with 6, and we just keep on adding zeros, as many as we need, in order to get the um, answer. Bring down the 0. 3 goes into 6, uh, 60, 7 times. Um, 7 times 8 is 56. I'm going to subtract and get 4, and one more 0 should do it down here for 40. 8 goes into 40, an even number of times, 5. 5 times 8 is 40, and these go away. Make sure you have your decimal brought up to the top, and we're going to add a leading 0 just to make it very clear that this is a 0 0.375. Okay, uh, that is 3 eighths as a decimal. Alright, let me show you another example. Um, 137 20 fifths. Now you may notice right off the bat that this is a improper fraction. Uh, which can also be converted the same way as before. You just divide the two numbers. If you start with a mixed number, just convert it to an improper fraction first. That makes it easier. Again, we're going to set up the uh, division problem the same exact way. 137. Oh, that's uh, bad. Let's try that again. 137 divided by 25. Again, uh, 25 will not go into 1, will not go into 13, but it does go into 137 and goes in 5 times. 5 times uh, 25 is 125 and we will subtract. We got 0 and we have 1 and um, <coughs> we have a 2. 25 will not go into 12 so we go ahead and put our decimal, make sure we have the decimal up top, bring down the 0, 25 into 120 goes in 4 times, 4 times 25 is 100, and we subtract, get 20, and bring down another 0 for 200, and finally 25 goes into 200, an even number of times if we do 8, 25 times 8 is 200, and so that's the end. 137 20 fifths is the same as 5.48. Alright, sometimes when we're doing this um, converting fractions to decimals, we won't always have it work out as a nice even uh, decimal like we did in these first two examples. So let's look at what happens uh, when we come across a decimal that does not work out evenly. I'm going to look at 2 ninths. Again, to convert this to a fraction, we're going to go ahead and do the same exact process. 2 divided by 9. 9, of course, does not go into 2, so we'll add our decimal on the bottom and the top, 
add a zero to show that zero nine does not go into two, so we have a zero. Nine will go into twenty, and it will go in uh, twice. Two times nine is eighteen. Twenty minus eighteen is two. So we bring down another zero, and we have twenty again. Two times nine is eighteen. Subtract, and we have two again. So we bring down another zero. And we have 20 again, so it's 2. See the pattern that's going on here? It's just going to go on and be like that forever without end. If that's the case, if you see that there's repeatings going on, you can just write this simply as 0 0.2 with a bar over top of the 2 to show that the 2 repeats forever. Okay. Um, if the pattern repeats more than just one digit, you can write the um, repeater, uh, rate the bar over the part that repeats. So let's say you had 0 0.123, 123, 123. All you have to do is do 0 0.123 and bar over the 123. Uh, just to show that that repeats over and over again. Um, one other example is um, for repeating decimals, if that ever happens, is you can have a couple of digits, say 4, five and then ones it starts becoming ones all you have to do for that is write 0 0.45 with a one and the bar over the part uh, that repeats the bar just goes over the part that repeats okay one more example I want to have uh, for you is for a fraction um, that does not end and also does not repeat here's your example Four seventeenths. I'm going to go ahead and set it up the same exact way, always going from uh, fractions to the decimals, just treating it as a division problem. Okay, four is divided by seventeen. Seventeen, of course, does not go into four, so we add our decimal, top and bottom, put a zero up front, and a zero here. Now we're asking seventeen into forty. Uh, seventeen goes into forty uh, two times. 2 times 17 is uh, 34. And we have 6 left over. Bring down another 0. Uh, 17 goes into um, 63 times. Um, and 3 times 17 it's 51. We have an 8. And this is going to be the last digit I do um, because it's becoming obvious. And it might not be obvious till after many, many digits that this is going to go on forever and ever and ever uh, without repeating and without ending. And when that happens, you really don't have much other choice than just to round off the digits. Uh, sometimes the questions will. Uh, tell you what digit to round off to, or your teacher has a preference. For this case, we'll go ahead and uh, round off to the hundredths place, uh, which is the second one after the decimal. Uh, looking here at the 5, we'll bring it up one. Uh, so we're just going to round the answer to 0 0.24. All right, uh, that is a very uh, quick explanation for how to convert fractions into decimals. And thanks for joining me for this lesson. If it was helpful for you, the best way you can help me out is to tell others. Uh, share this lesson on your Facebook page or on Twitter. Tell a classmate, tell your teacher. And you can, of course, leave me comments and questions right here on the YouTube page. I receive emails at joel at yourtutoronline.com. And hey, I'll see you next time. Happy studying.